welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd give you guys an update on how all things Empress are going. I know things have gone a little bit quiet on that front because I've just been so busy working on it for you guys and um, getting it made and I've also had COVID as well you can probably still tell from my voice and um, but I wanted to give you guys an update on where we're at with everything so if you are new here or you're not aware of Empress we had a Kickstarter campaign a few months ago um, where so many of you amazing people pre-ordered Empress um, or pledged in other ways and we raised over £30,000 um, which has then gone to create Empress My Fragrance. I have shown you guys the bottle before, which is, I have, and it's all confirmed. This is what the bottle's exactly gonna look like. What I also have now is the actual smell itself in this like sample container. Um, I've been refining it with my perfumer, Ruth Mastenbrook. Um, she has been amazing. She's former president of the um, Society Perfumers. She has a degree in chemistry from Oxford and she's been making perfumes for decades for the likes of Jo Malone, Juvedon. So she is doing the chemical formulation um, and creating the scent. I have to say, I'm really happy with it. It definitely has a big nod to our long gone friend, Miss Dior Cherie. Um, and you know what I'm so happy with is the lasting power. So I've managed to spray this on a few people, a few friends and family, and they've all commented that, you know, hours and hours later, they can still really smell it, which is exactly what I wanted from the perfume, right? So you get, um, at first it is quite strong. I think at first when you spray it, you don't want it to be like straight smelling it because it's quite strong and after that initial you know alcohol feeling disappears like five seconds ten seconds later you get that wild strawberry top note um but as it evolves it becomes really pretty peonies and roses but the popcorn note really comes through um it's warm i do think it is more of a autumn winter than a spring summer scent because it's heavy it's quite intense and it's got all of those you know popcorn notes in and you know just the concentration is so heavy for a hot day i think it would probably be too much um so i feel like empress is going to be autumn winter and evening um but obviously you can wear it whenever you want so the scent is sorted the bottle is sorted this is going to have a silver spray and then the last thing that's been taking a while to sort, well, the last part of this, the actual perfume bit has been the lid. And um, that's been so hard because creating a custom lid from scratch is actually quite unusual. A lot of perfume bottles don't use custom lids. They're actually ones that already have been made. So to do a custom one, you have to, um, you know, design it in 3D, get a mold made to make sure it works, make sure it's stable, it's not gonna break and stuff like that. Um, so to get my star shape made has taken um, quite a while, but I think we are there now. It's gonna look really, really cool. I think it's gonna be a little bit thicker than I had imagined, um, but it's still gonna be that same star shape on the top, it's gonna to look really cool. So once that's finalized, that can then go in production, everything in production, and then lots and lots of empresses will be shipped to me ready to send out to you guys. The other thing that I have pretty much finalized is the box. So I can now show you what the box um, the empress is gonna live in is gonna look like. So I've included, of course, my so key logo that I love so much. Um, got a QR code so people can go through to the website. And of course, it's all in my purple, the same as the bottle. And in the future, um, hopefully I'll be able to release more fragrances and they're each gonna have like a different color theme. So the box will be the same, but with a different color with that white outline and different colored um, bottles as well. I have so many ideas. I have like 12 different perfumes planned. So hopefully Empress goes well. Um, so yeah, so the box is done and I ha I'm hoping to be able to go to um, video and show you guys how it's all put together, all the different pieces and then put it in the box and wrapped. Um, Cause I think that could be quite cool. So hopefully I'll be able to do that and show you guys. I have to say the number one thing that's been most difficult with it is really the distribution side of things. So 
um, because it's a dangerous good, it's perfume, it's alcohol, it's really difficult to ship internationally and incredibly expensive. So there's no way that I can ship everything here from the UK um, out to you guys across the world. It would cost an absolute fortune. So I'm trying to find distributors um, that I can ship from in different locations around the world. But again, of course, that's all very costly and there's all the customs and taxes and stuff to think about. Um, and I'm also going to start approaching like independent perfumeries to see if they'd like to stock it. So if you are working at an independent perfumery or you know someone or you go to one, um, do let me know and I'll see if they want to take any bottles of Empress. I'm also looking into getting samples made again they have, they're quite expensive because they have huge minimum order quantities, you know, tens of thousands. So I'm looking into whether I can do that or maybe I could try and make them myself with little vials, I'm not sure. And then the final sort of big thing that needs to be done is the marketing material. So when I have the lid, um, physically have it, then I can go and do all the product shots, of course, and the marketing materials, and um, I'm gonna, be the model I guess for Empress and I think I found a perfect dress for it. It's from Zimmerman and it has all these stars on it, celestial vibes, I think it's just perfect and I have so many ideas for the shoot and how we can get the most beautiful shots of the bottle so I can't wait to go and shoot that. I'll of course document and video all that behind the scenes and then I'll have loads of great imagery of course to use on socials and website and everywhere for Empress. So yeah it's looking like we're on track to hit the autumn um, target date for Empress late October, November, it all depends on when it can all just get to the UK and we put it all together and I can start sending it out. But um, yeah, I think we're on track time-wise. So yeah, that's my update on Empress, guys. I'm so excited, it's getting really close now. Um, and thank you for all your support. If you haven't been able to um, take part in the Kickstarter, I know they didn't accept PayPal, um, some people had issues, you can pre-order it on my website, a uh, link below. Um, I am accepting pre-orders um, with 10% off because acknowledging that it's pre-order and you won't get it for a few months. Um, but yeah, thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll let you know when we have any more Empress updates. Um, but that's it for now, guys. So bye.